All right, mom. So, uh, sorry, excuse me, Lois. I didn't mean to say mom. That is my mom, but her name is Lois. So, Lois. Hi, mom. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> you, we introduced me, well, Aaron and I, we introduced you into a rabbit hole. Yes. You remember that rabbit hole? I'm trying to recall. We did the uh, we did a BTS video with you. It was yeah. the one where they did the flower arrangement. Yes, and that was fun. Yeah, so that was fun. I think that from okay. what I uh, from what I remember hearing at some mm-hmm. point, uh, I heard that you're a big Coldplay fan too. That is true. <laughs> they are so awesome. They yeah, they make some pretty good music. So the first thing that we're doing today, because I heard that you're such a big fan is we're going to do a song where they are actually accompanying one of the members of BTS in one of their songs, you know, BTS song. So the thing that's really cool about this is that in Korea, every single male has to participate in joining the military. And in fact, right now we are actually still waiting for a lot of the members of BTS to come back. We've got the first one who we will be focusing on today, Jin, and he's back in the military but this video is actually the video that he had before he went into the military. This is the very last thing he did. He only had like three or four days left or something like that. He was getting ready to enter into the military and Coldplay was like, you didn't even get a proper goodbye. You didn't get to say goodbye to your fans. So <laughs> they invited him out to a show out in Argentina. So he it took him like, I think it was like a 48 or 72 hour flight. He had to go from like, korea to somewhere in um europe and then flew out to argentina just for him to perform this one song with coldplay so the song is called astronaut and it's really really good Uh Mm. so aaron how how would this pertain to her niche and her channel well i mean obviously everything we talk about a lot about like plants gardening and um I think one of the biggest things about this is always cultivation of a community. I think the gardening is actually a really cool community. A lot of people always thrive in that. And I think that the other thing that's just really cool too, is just showing in those, in our communities that even when we're worlds apart, we're still very much the same, you know? And of course being a Coldplay fan, you gotta gotta (laughs) check out some music. (laughs) So, Ma, so Lois, on the scale of one to ten, ten being the highest, one being the lowest, how big of a fan of Coldplay are you? I'm probably a ten and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. What about BTS? You become a fan of them now too. I like them. They are. They have some really awesome music. Yeah, I'm probably about a nine with them. I, yeah. I'm still getting used to all of their different kinds of music, but it, I like it. They yeah, they do have a lot of different kind of music, and that's kind of what's always fun about them is you don't know what you're going to get. <laughs> All right. Well, Aaron, you ready to do this? I am. Let's kick it on. All right. So yeah, see if you can expand it out. Whoop. I will. Oh yeah. There we go. Look at that. Okay, it's called Astronaut Gin with Coldplay. Yep. Make sure the volume. This is actually a really interesting way of doing this because this, what we're watching is literally like days before he went into the military. And then the other thing is like days after he joined the military or after he was done in the military. Hmm. That'll be interesting. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Can you all see it just fine? I can see it. Can you see it, mom? Uh I mean, Lois, I keep. (laughs) It's okay to call her mom. I just want to make sure my volume's up real quick. Yep. All right, here we go. Hey, there he is. <laughs> this song gets me every time. Who 
That is so cool. Right? It's giving me chills. <laughs> I like Chris Martin. He's a good guy. I gained a lot of respect for him after this. I would love to go to a Coldplay concert. It'd be cool. Then it have him there too. That would be cool. Nobody knew that he was going to be there. That's so cool. <laughs> They're crying. Ah, that's so cool. Isn't that wild? Like a once in a lifetime thing to see that. And they didn't even know it. He's even doing the motions like Chris Martin. It's so cool. Right? Dude, he's loving it. He's having the time of his life. I want Pete too. Thank you, Danny, Bill, Guy, and Chris. 
That is so cool. <laughs> Would have never guessed that crossover, huh? Oh, that did not mean to do that. Sorry. A little. I, I think that that's so cool. Um, yeah. I really, I love that they're just like, hey, you didn't get a chance to say goodbye to your fans. What did you think, Mom? No, I think they <laughs> they shocked everyone. And <laughs> wow, what a nice surprise. Yeah, you know, I think the craziest thing is, is like, they ran into each other at one of the music awards. I think it was the Grammys. And it's been kind of well known and documented that like, BTS was never really treated very well by a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And he was like, after he met them at the Grammys, Chris Martin, he's just like, no, I love these guys. And he's, he's one of the first people that ever came to their defense, you know, in the media. And so after that, they've just had this really awesome relationship. It's really cool. Go ahead. Great support. Yeah. Very good support. And, you know, like Tony was saying, like he, he got a, this was Chris's idea to bring him in. This was not Jin's. He was just like, no, we got to have you here. And that's the video we got. That is awesome. <laughs> There's a few parts I really like about this. I like the fact that, like, you know, he's really, I especially like this right here. Cause, well, no. He I starts like, running down the runway. <laughs> no, I especially like this first part when, because no one, like you said, no one knew that he was coming. Mm hmm and you know they're just expecting like some regular new song, and then all of a sudden he just walks up on stage. Their like, stage is so out. cool. And the one thing that my mom Lois has always made comments to me about is that Coldplay is always known for having such cool sound with their instruments. Like right? yeah. their instruments are awesome. They do things with their instruments that. You don't hear in other bands. They're Very cool. unique. Yes. And so I love the fact that let me share this again. I you can see the the lead guitarist right there. Mm -hmm. He's having. You can just tell he's just in the moment. But he's. It's a kind of like an introduction to to Jin. Yeah. And it's so cool. You can, you can just see that Jin. He's almost in tears. Oh yeah. Right <laughs> it's very um it's off the cuff it's not it's not rehearsed it's just comes across naturally and their natural um connection is really strong yeah they just really groove together <laughs> so there's something that aaron you don't even know about my mom mm. my mom she um for because Alice, she doesn't sing as much, but my mom growing up, like she was always singing in choirs and she had, uh, and to this day, like, I'll still defend this to this day and she'll get mad at this, about this, but uh, she has a really good voice, but like, mm -hmm. and, and she, like, uh, and, you know, sometimes growing up, she would, she would just like sing kind of obnoxiously to mess with me and my siblings, <laughs> but, um, but she always made it a point to get us involved in music some way, somehow, whether it be, you know, she was she would play like Chicago music. She would play Journey. She played all sorts of stuff because she knew the value of music. She's yeah. always known that value, right? That's great. Yeah. I used to rock out with Neil Diamond. I like Neil Diamond a lot. <laughs> My mom really loves Neil Diamond too. That uh, coming that coming to America song. Oh yeah, that's mm -hmm. my she, she go ahead and tell them how, what you would do with that when you were in college. When I was at the U, I had a Honda, and I'd have my windows down, and I'd play "Coming to America" almost full blast. <laughs> the <middle>. yeah. <laughs> yes, that's you can imagine doing. going up to the University of Utah, can't coming down that hill from the University of Utah in Salt Lake City, Utah. Yeah, be, like, basically blasting it. I mean, and it's a pretty cool song, and that's one thing that I think that probably attracts you to Coldplay because they have a lot of the same kind of sound and feel. Well, they their... do. They're, they're, their music seems so authentic. Yeah. And, um, they put the, so much of their heart and soul into it, you know? Yeah. For sure. You know, for me, I always think that, like, <laughs> this isn't really trying to be a slam, but it's kind of a slam. But I always thought that Coldplay was just kind of like a better version of U2. <laughs> I can see oh, that. I, I yeah. Because, like, you know, they do, that. like, a lot of that similar feel. Like, the Edge always has, like, the... Uh, that effect on his guitar that kind of creates the reverb and it kind of gets that really atmospheric feel. Well, and I, for me personally, I, I actually prefer 
how they do it with uh, Coldplay's instruments much more. Well, so real quick, one of my favorite songs from Coldplay, and she knows this, and for anyone watching, um, is fix is the song "Fix You" by Coldplay. I, mm-hmm. I resonate with that song so much, especially like when you, you know, he's because you know Chris Martin, he's singing, but then when when the when his bandmates come in and they start playing their instruments and everything, that's when it, like chills go down my yes. yeah go down my my spine. Just like yellow, yellow is the same way. Or clocks. Yeah. yeah. Clocks. Oh. See, I really like clocks, and I think the scientists too. Oh, this, I love the scientists. Yeah. I'm trying to remember that one. We'll we'll play it off screen for yeah. you. Thank you. But um, no, there's a few things right here that I really like. I love the fact that the crowd's so inviting to Jen. Oh yeah. Know? Because like I'm gonna be honest with you, Aaron. Like I don't know about my mom. Um, I had kind of no- heard about BTS a little bit before you kind of introduced me into this rabbit hole. Thanks for that, by the way. <laughs> You're welcome. And you did the same thing. Well, me and you did the same thing for her. Yeah. But I have the utmost respect for BTS and what they try to accomplish with their music. You know, they don't they don't talk about anything immoral in their music. And that's yeah. one of the main things I love about their stuff. It's good yeah. and it's clean. Oh, it's so good. And honestly, like, I, I agree with you. Like for me personally, the biggest thing always was for me when it comes to BTS was just there's songs of theirs that are like really, really happy and it's very clean, but there's some songs that like when you get to it, you're like, wow, this is really, really good. One of the ones that I showed Tony, maybe he'll show you off uh, camera as well, was this one that's called Zero O'Clock and <sighs> it's really good. And it's one of those songs that you can listen to that's like a nice reset and I, that's I, like the funny thing was, and I say this quite often on my channel, like the very first song that I heard from BTS is one called Butter, and I thought it was terrible the very first time I heard it. And I didn't want to listen to it anymore, but you know, eventually, just due to the nature of my channel, I was like, I know I'm gonna have to cover them at some point. And then when I did, I was like, Oh, okay, this is a very different from what I was expecting. <laughs> yeah, I so okay. they have a major variety of different, uh, yeah. So, mom, Lois, well, it's, it's, it's an old hat that's hard. Um, <laughs> what was some of your favorite parts in this song? I liked how it all came together with, I mean, their background, their lighting was really great, and the instruments and the vocals, they all just seemed to be totally in tune with each other. They, they just worked the way they needed to work at the right time. I was really impressed by that. And, uh, and then the way Chris backed him up. Right that there. was yeah, it was really really good. <laughs> that you know you have to respect someone who's already has a claim to fame. Yeah, up someone else that that says a lot about them. You know, I but, absolutely agree. Because you know the funny thing was for a long time I, I and I will say this I never always really liked uh, Coldplay because there was tons of times where it kind of came out that uh, Chris Martin was not the nicest guy for a long time. Right, and so like I think he's really changed, and <laughs> so that's why like when I saw this, I was like, oh, and like started hearing like how he was really helpful towards BTS and like how he treated him. I was like, so I think he has had that change of heart. I think his divorce changed him somewhat. Mm. Yeah, and I, I think that you know I, I like to compare this to to Steve Jobs, you know the the founder of Apple mm-hmm. when he was for when he was in his twenties. The guy was a jerk. Like he was, he was a complete jerk. Like he, he was brutal. He, he berated everybody. Yeah. He got a girl pregnant. And he refused to take responsibility. And then once he was, after he was voted out as CEO, he really had that humbling moment, like where he kind of had to start over. And he take he took responsibility for the the girl that he helped, you know, conceive. But he, and then like he just from that point on was like this super down to earth guy. And I remember even watching uh, there was there was this movie with um, that famous actor Ashton Ashton Kutcher. Yeah, he, where he plays Steve Jobs. And I wa- I remember watching that movie and seeing how like the guy was so humble. Right? Yeah, the guy became so humble. And I remember, you know, rest in peace, Steve Jobs, obviously. But um, I remember when he got diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. He was going to the various the hospital out in California, and they're like, you know, you don't have to pay for this. Like you're you you do so much for the for the state, for the country, for the world. You don't have to pay for this. He's like, I know, 
but I want to. Yeah. And I and so and like you, I I've heard some stuff about Chris Martin, but the fact that Chris Martin and his bandmates came to the defense of BTS mm-hmm. gives me that much more respect for him. What are your thoughts? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean it's kind of a dog eat dog world in, in music because everybody wants to be the best and the greatest. And, and when you have humility and you're willing to help someone else out, that just shows that you do have a soul. Yeah. I think he's proven that. And one thing that she likes to do while she listen while she gardens is she likes to listen to music. That's right. She, and she will listen to yellow. She will listen mm-hmm. to a lot of stuff. So I guess this has now been added to your playlist. Yeah. Songs to listen to while yeah, you garden. That's right. That's how you- <laughs> yeah, no, and you know, going back to the song, I, I, I kind of, I'm with you. Like when he starts uh, playing and backing up Jane, I really like. There's kind of a part that every single time I see it, kind of melts my heart. Is when he turns back and he sees Chris, and he just runs for Chris. And there's just like something that's just so pure behind it. I think, yeah. I think that's about this part. I think it's back a little bit further. Yeah, I just want to listen to this part because it's so cool. (laughs) I like how he took some of his mannerisms, like with the jumping around. Right. Like, that's the funny thing about this song, too, is like. He makes it sound like it sounds like a Coldplay song, but it's gins, it you know. Yeah, but you can you can feel a combination of both. The one thing that I love about this, bring this, there's a thing I would say in my videos. I'm gonna bring that full circle, um, and I love the fact that you have two different cultures coming together. Yeah, you know, because and two different, really two different kinds of music. Exactly, very much so. Because, you know, here in the United States, you know, I guess, you know, Chris Martin, he isn't, he wasn't born in the United States, but he lives in the United States. Isn't he British? Yeah, I think he's British. Yes. Yeah. Um, but I love the fact that, because, you know, American music and British music, they're pretty similar. But I love the fact that he's just like, hey, you didn't get a chance to say goodbye to your fans. Yeah. They need this. Yeah. You're not going to tell anyone about this. You're just going <laughs> to show up. <laughs> yeah. I think there's also a part of something that Chris knew that he knew that Jin needed it. Yeah. I think that's kind of because when you see them performing, you can kind of see that there's a look of wonderment on Jin's face that I, agree. I don't think he was ever going to see. Yeah. Yeah. And so kind of going back to the video, there's something I really I I, I love the fact that they they their their on stage chemistry go so well one with another. Yes. Well, the whole thing was- it is just so well done. That stadium is huge. <laughs> okay, I got to talk about that real quick. Did you notice that, Aaron? Yeah, leading him on. He's like, yeah, it's you. Like, Dude, this is your time. Go for yeah. it. Very cool. <laughs> just want to finish the song and then we'll talk about it. Okay. He's almost in tears. Yeah, it's a big time in his life. They're in tears. The crowd is in tears. (laughs) 
man. That was just very, very well done. Very moving. Like, mm -hmm. what are your thoughts? And I'll give my thoughts. Well, if I'd been there at the concert, man, I probably would have cried my eyes out. It was so good. <laughs> Aaron, what are your thoughts? You know, for me personally, like, I think a lot about this song and this performance a lot. And to just know what he's about to go into, you know, because the military is hard. Mm -hmm. And just the idea of going into the military, having to serve, and then hoping that when you get out, everything's still waiting for you. The amount of anxiety that he's probably feeling is so nuts. And I, every single time I watch this, it just kind of really hits hard because you just don't know, you know, it's that look of like, I can't believe someone's doing this for me. And, and it's I, kind of relief too. Yeah. Yeah. Cause exactly. It, 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 you know, expel those feelings and and feel really good about things. So one hundred percent. Well, and there's one thing that uh, Aaron, you and I, we've talked about this on videos that we've collabed with together. Is that mental health is real, and mm -hmm. I, you could you could just help you could just, you could just tell is what I meant to say um, <laughs> that this really boosted Jen's mental health. Yeah, and the fact that yeah. like I mean, I'm sure he wasn't even expecting you know to get a phone call from Chris Martin saying like, hey. We you want gotta to do this. <laughs> you gotta do oh, this. Wow. Like my jaw would have just dropped to the ground. If this is a cartoon, yeah. my jaw would just would have dropped to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> and honestly, I actually think the song is actually really cool too. It is. So my thoughts on this is I love the fact you know, I said it before, I'll say it again. I love the fact that you see two cultures and two different types of um, music coming together. But I also love the fact that at the you know at the end of the day, Chris Martin knows the potential. Him and his bandmates know the potential that BTS has, and they're just like, "Hey, you got to do this, not just for you, but for your fans." Yeah. And I love the fact that you know we 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 talked about you know he's like, "Hey, he's like it's the kind of leading him on." He's like, "Dude, he's like this is all you." He's like, "I'm just here to back you up." He's like. Go on, this is your show right now. Yeah, it turned into a mini BTS concert. <laughs> yeah, that would be such a shock. Even though he, they're starting to gain some notoriety, that would still be such a shock and overwhelming, almost make it hard to perform because of someone else's being kind that way, you know? Yeah. Really, really cool. So, Mom, on a scale of 1 to 10, how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling very much up 10 and a half. I'm really, really excited for them and for what they accomplished. I bet you we'll see a lot more of their uh, working together yeah. in the future. And this just opens the door of opportunity for BTS to work mm -hmm. with other musicians. Other yeah. Mm -hmm. like, They'll see their potential. Like I could see BTS working with bigger, with other groups like, I'm going to be honest with you. I could see them working with Creed. I could see them working with U2. I could see them working with One Republic. All these different groups that are so well known around the world because these various popular groups, they'll see like, okay, now we understand why Chris Martin and his bandmates are defending these guys. Yeah. You know, I say One Republic would be an awesome group for them to mesh with. Yeah. The interesting thing is, too, is like they have had a couple of other spots with other um, with a couple of other artists. I know uh, Jungkook, he recently had a song release where it's him and Charlie Puth together. And that is a really cool song. Well, who is he? He's the one that did that. Uh, it's been I'll see I, I'll see you again song that from Fast and the Furious. Oh, that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh, yeah. I know who that is. Okay. Yeah. Charlie Puth. He, there's a song with him and June Cook. And it's funny because when that when that happened, he's like, I want to send him the, the things to go do this. And immediately he's like, he was the only person that the moment I sent it to, he knew how to do it and he didn't need to practice. He heard it once and it was on per perfect pitch. Oh my goodness. Man. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. These guys have been so. well trained. Yes, they have. <laughs> so, would you like to do something like that again in the future, Mom? Like, uh, react to something like this again oh, in the yeah, future? yeah, especially if it's someone, one of those two bands. <laughs> and 
giving you a, a combi combination of them and someone else with them. Because that helps motivate you with your gardening, right? Like it helps well, give you. Yeah, it's it really does something for you. It kind of light lifts your lifts your mood, you know, spirits. All right. Well, Aaron. Yes. Well, thank you guys so much for having me on. I knew that when we were kind of putting this together, I, I, I thought about like, what, what should we do? And then I remember, man, I know that they both really like cold play. So. <laughs> I knew that I had to get that going. And I tell you what, I'm, I'm, I'm really growing and growing in my support of BTS too. They've got some beautiful music. And yeah. anyone watching this, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to her channel because she, when it comes to gardening, this lady right here, has one of the greenest thumbs I've ever met. Like we mentioned this in the last collab that me, you and her did, but we've had people in the past who have come to her with like plants that were on the brink of death, like yeah. literally like about to die. And they're like, well, if you can bring it back to life, it's yours. And within a week, <laughs> or a few days, she brought it back to life. And they're like, wow, that looks so good. Like they're so astonished. And, She's no, so plants and I have a close relationship. <laughs> she could tell she could tell you a lot of stories about that. Yes, indeed. You'll have to do a segment on that. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good idea. All right. Well, you want any final thoughts? I just I appreciate the opportunity, Aaron. I really, really enjoyed that more than I can tell you. And those guys are awesome. And I really, really enjoyed that synchronization they had there. That was great. Absolutely. For having me. Well, thank you for having me. <laughs> All right. We will see you guys. At, I'll nice say video. this. <laughs> yep. I'll say this as I always say in my videos. We will see you in the next, in the next video. video. <laughs>